All right, you got a Washington teacher is forced to take down a pro-police flag in their classroom over fears it could be, quote, a political symbol. The Marysville Middle School teacher hung this flag in support of her brother, a former police officer. Now, the school district says, without context, a thin blue line symbol, quote, can be interpreted in a variety of ways by students who come from very diverse backgrounds. While LGBT and Black Lives Matter messages are allowed to be on full display. Former Marysville police officer Chris Sunderland is the brother of the middle school teacher. Uh, he joins us now. Uh, what's your reaction to the school's policy? It's, it's kind of absurd in a way, if you think about it, because we're talking about a simple flag that represents, you know, law enforcement, which in a whole is a great organization. And the things that we've done for them um, has just been a, a great time. And I don't understand why my sister can't have that up on her wall. No kidding, especially a tribute to you. Uh, did you do it for, did you, did you become an officer to be rich? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Uh, no, not at all. About service. So the school said, well, when asked, how can you put up one, uh, put up those two flags and not the other? Uh, they said our students participate in several different extracurricular leadership activities, including uh, Black Student Union, Latino Student Union, LGBTQIA uh, plus club. For many of our most vulnerable students who might participate in one of these clubs, these symbols may also help them feel both heard and seen. They also want to say in a school context, uh, these other two symbols can be seen as a specific educational purpose that directly align with instructional objectives and extracurricular programs. Do you feel better now? No. Oh, yeah, so much better. It makes so much sense to me. So is there an educational purpose to understanding about law enforcement in America? Yeah, there absolutely, absolutely is. Um, and I used my six years as a SRO um, here in Washington to educate the kids and uh, the, the way that we are able to impact these young kids in their lives and the issues that were going on in a different way. Uh, and I think it's very informational and educational for these families and kids and even educators to have us in the schools. Uh, yeah, and they say that we do support police and they say we provide uh, funding for two resource officers uh, to work the halls. The other thing that I think is important is this is a very diverse number. Uh, there's a lot of diversity in these police departments across the country. What are you saying to them? Uh, I just keep telling them to, you know, hey, hang on. Um, I've had a lot of support saying, hey, I'm glad you can be the voice for us to, to keep this going. And uh, I'm just really glad that everybody is, is stepping forward and, and basically saying, you know what, Chris, I'm glad you're doing this uh, and your sister because it needs to be heard. Right, and it needs to be balanced. And I would expect somebody that ascended to the place as principal or superintendent to understand the need to understand law enforcement uh, in our society now more than ever. We've had a year in which everyone ignored law enforcement and we had murders through the roof and crime running rampant. Uh, I'd rather not have a year like that again. Uh, and hopefully that'll, uh, that message will come clear. Chris, thanks for your service. Thanks for what your sister did. And thanks for coming on with us today. I appreciate it. Thank you. You got it.